Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Order your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. Grand Slam champions will continue comebacks in Madrid this month and could continue a wild card controversy that started in Miami. Former world number one Simona Halep and Caroline Wozniacki were both awarded wild cards into this month's Mutua Madrid Open. Both women played the Miami Open on wild cards. That's where their differences on wild cards erupted. Caroline opposes awarding wild cards to players who've served doping suspensions. She says it's nothing personal, but Simona should work her way up from the bottom. In response, Simona says she did not cheat and did not dope. She was the victim of contamination. And she made it clear she didn't appreciate Wozniacki's statement. She said she was very grateful to the tournament for giving her the chance to play, and she did feel the love from the fans. Now, let's note, tournaments have the right to award wild cards to whoever they choose. It's happened before. Wild cards have been rewarded to Maria Sharapova, Martina Hingis, and Richard Gasquet, all of whom had been suspended for doping. Halep says she supports the current policy because it protects players like herself, who she says have been falsely suspended. Wozniacki says that players are responsible for what goes in their bodies. And if you fail a doping test, you are banned and you don't get wild cards. Because wild cards are free entry into the main draw, ensuring the player a payday, which can be substantial, especially at a 1,000 tournament or a slam. Other critics of the current wild card format say there should be a limit to total number of wild cards that veterans receive, like Andy Murray, Venus Williams, and Caroline Wozniacki. The WTA does have a rule on wild card limits for players. That rule states the maximum number of wild cards a player can receive into singles is six for 1,500 and 250 level events. For 125 tournaments, it's three wild cards. Now, this rule applies only to WTA tournaments, not to the Grand Slam events. Wozniacki supports a simple rule. She says if you've failed a drug test, you forfeit the right to any future wild cards. But she says if you serve your suspension, you then have the right to come back. However, she thinks you should have to start at the bottom and work your way up, not get a wild card. Supporters of the current policy say it gives tournaments the flexibility they need to bring stars in and also to offer fans the best experience and the best value for their ticket price. Now, two more notes on wild cards. First, the WTA has approval on all wild cards at tour events. And number two, wild cards are also a way for tournament owners like IMG to take care of their own players. Venus Williams, Emma Raducanu, Kei Shikori all got wild cards into Miami. All IMG clients and IMG owns the event. So allocating wild cards is a business decision also. Now over to you. A lot of fuss about nothing, or does Caroline have a point? Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.